puzzles, secrets, and mysteries. All things the adventurous people of the world are drawn to. The bigger the setup and more complicated the way to the end, the more amazing the payoff is when it is finally solved. Today is a little complicated, so bear with me, as today is about Cicada 3301. Let's begin. The image board known as 4chan has various subcategories for discussion. The one we are dealing with today is the paranormal board, X for short. X is commonplace for the strange and obviously paranormal, including alternate reality games, which are welcomed with open arms. What came to challenge the usual goings-on came on January 5th, 2012, when this was posted, instantly grabbing the attention of everyone scanning over the board. A challenge is always welcome for thrill seekers. A deciphered message leading to another image, leading to even more code and more leads. At this point, it began to sink in that this was more than just your usual alternate reality game. A phone number came into play, more ciphers, more codes, and finally, a web page, an image, and a countdown, with anticipation growing for when the allotted time came to pass. This is when what looked like an ambitious puzzle became something much, much bigger. Coordinates, actual locations around the world where a cicada-clad QR code could be found. It was obvious that this was something much, much bigger. More puzzles led to a final page to sign up. What happened next is a little more cloudy than normal. An alleged leaked email came from the end, an invitation of sorts, and for 2012, a farewell was posted, possibly bringing an end to the greatest puzzle of the year. Or not. In 2013, it happened again. Now, many previous imitations tried to be like the Cicada 3301-esque puzzles, but Nobody could match the grand scale of the original puzzle until January 5th, 2013, when another similar invitation and warning presented itself. The chase was on again. More secret messages, a cryptic cipher from the Book of Law, a live image, prime number scripts, and more. It was clear the original creators were back. After an OS, audio files, torrent links, and more like the previous year, coordinates, complete with phone numbers instead of the QR codes from before that you could call to get SSSS codes. But like the previous year, this is where things get cloudy. The last bit circles around a questionnaire leaked with questions about truth and knowledge, but no clear winners came from this year. Picking up steam, 2014 came with another puzzle, seeming like a yearly occurrence. But this time, a roadblock stopped everything. Known as the Labert Primus, a 58-page set of images to decrypt was supplied. Getting hard at work, it's unfortunate to report that even now, it's not fully solved. Or at least, those who have decrypted it fully are keeping quiet. Since then, no more puzzles have come to light, and it's been three years without a proper update from the original creators. All we can do is wait for a solution to the 2014's puzzle, or for a new one to arrive. Many people have claimed to have decrypted and won the puzzles to their end, but with no proper authentication, it remains unseen how valid the claims are. Some say it's an NSA recruitment program, some say it's an elite hacking group, out to find members. It could even just be an overly complicated alternate reality game, on the grandest platform of the world. Honestly though, we just don't know. Whether it is just an elaborate set of problems and solutions, or possibly something much, much bigger, Cicada 3301 very much has earned its spot on the list of most infamous and fascinating unsolved mysteries ever to come to pass. 
Personally, I very much hope we can once again experience such absolute uncertainty. There is nothing more unnerving than what we don't understand, and nothing more liberating than an unexpected discovery, and the puzzles of Cicada 3301 have provided both, even years after their disappearance. But thanks for watching, and thanks for the overflowing support. I apologize for missing last week, and I hope this longer episode can cover my slack. Thanks again, and as always, suggestions are always welcome. You have a good day, and a good night.